Hi, so we just got back from watching Mother, and in an earlier video, we talked about the movie in general without any spoilers, so not giving too much away, just giving our opinion on it when whether we liked it or not. And now we are going to talk about it in depth, which means spoiler alert. This movie has a lot of very slow scenes where you kind of you kind of hold your breath in certain scenes because you're in the eyes of Jennifer Lawrence trying to figure out what is going on with her home and with her life all of a sudden like things change and she just gets all these strangers coming into her life um, without her wanting them to be there and feeling helpless um, while at it so it's it's you just trying to figure out what in the world is going on that was a fun ride uh, but eventually towards the end it starts revealing itself and then things just go crazy it talks about how the the poet was giving things away all the time where in reality it's actually her that is giving everything because she's the away. mother she's the mother so and then in the end what is there what uh, what else is there left to give right you know and what she gives up is still gives up her love yeah and brings back it's it's like life. this never-ending cycle right mm -hmm. um which is of course very apparent in life i mean i guess we can look at it this way you know what they say when you see a homeless person right do you give that homeless person money if you don't give them money it kind of means you're very selfish and you're not generous, right? But if you give the homeless person money, then that means you're generous, but it fuels that person to keep doing what he's doing and just keep getting alms because you keep giving. Yeah. So it's that never-ending cycle. It's the perversion of um, benevolence. Yeah. Um, and then it's always like a matter of um, what is better, to, to give or not give. Mm -hmm. But with the whole re religion um, connotation, let's ex expound on that a little bit. Um, what are the religious... Um, symbols that we saw? Yeah, symbols that we saw here. Let's, let's begin with the first one. I don't know if it's the first one. One is giving. Giving and receiving. Yes. That's pretty obvious. Um, two, sacrifice. Three, worship. Mm-hmm. And idolization, mm -hmm. uh, or is um, prayer? Uh huh. Five. And eight. there was a scene with like the Ash Wednesday. Yeah, Ash Wednesday. Um, th that's uh, symbolism, right? Rituals. Right. right. The cannibalism, uh, of course, is with the body of Christ, and you know Sacrifice how how the body. communions are done, right? Flesh and blood. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, giving the heart. Right. Um, and how it brings life. Right. There is... Um, forgiving and forgiving no matter what the, the sin has been yeah. to just forgive. Uh, there's um, Jennifer Lawrence who wasn't, quote unquote, is, was pretty much like a virgin throughout. Right. She was like a virgin Mary. The movie, right. Yeah. Till the end. Right. That there's some... Elation, uh -huh. um, just implication that there was uh, consummation, and but the next day she's already pregnant. Yeah, I don't know if it's time lapse or just it's implied that the next day he, she's pregnant. Right. And then you sac and then it's a son, the only son. Right. Being uh, given um, apart from that, but I don't get the whole aspect where if there's a direct translation or of her being a Virgin Mary but when she starts killing people because her her son was killed and oh there's eating the body yeah we talked oh, about yeah, that yeah, body yeah. Of Christ yeah right do you see that like when she yeah. started killing people and yeah. she's being called a whore and stuff if there's like that Virgin is it Mary, like the Mary Magdalene of uh, Maybe sort yeah. of mixed to it. So Mary and who is Mary? Mary Magdalene, right. Virgin Mary, right? Because yeah. in some um, 
theories that they're actually the same, the same person, person. Okay. um but it depends on who is pertaining to that person whether they are you know considered immaculate or basically a yeah. prostitute right yeah. um and, and then there's the gifts and the gifts yeah the bringing of gifts bringing of gifts there's also the sacrifice of his only son right yeah yeah cuz he basically he gave, right. gave the the baby around to be shown to all of his and yet and he was eaten fans and given and he still forgave yeah so the forever forgiving um creator he was a creator right. poet he was a creator and his works um speak very connect connect very well with people of every kind you know mm -hmm. it just super relates i think is the movie um doing it's basically doing like a, a never ending cycle as well yeah just as the metaphor that it's trying to imply yeah because like, in the end right another another um when he gets the the heart the crystal heart right and it's another new heart um they show another woman who wakes up similarly looking like Jennifer Lawrence and says says the exact same thing baby it talks about that's the cycle of life to me that's how i see it um things the the house or the church may burn down to the ground um and then they keep rebuilding died. it yeah and the poet doesn't die so he is the immortal creator right and he can just breathe life into a burned down house what about the picture what about the picture of him oh well that means he's everywhere he's so well known that everyone from far away will visit him so that it's called that's the pilgrimage right you know people from far away go to different um, areas of the world to to pay homage to you know where it but they're so good in front of the poet but they're not good so here's a question what was the role of Michelle Pfeiffer and Ed Harris, the two strangers who suddenly drop by their home. It's, um... Uh, right? Because things started really going crazy when they dropped by, and then, you know, they started kind of interfering and intruding into um, the couple's lives. That's when things started going crazy. It's, okay, you got to, when you're sharing, you got to open up your heart. Right, you gotta open up your home, right? And when, even with the best of interests, you know you can't control what people will do, right? Even if you try to um, clean up, it's, there's something about those things where you clean up mm -hmm. after everything. Mm -hmm. Every even after everything, you try. To, she tries to clean it up mm -hmm. and cover it up. Sometimes clean up is cover up, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that the um, what was done, you know, goes away, and that's why there's that stain. Right. That's always there. Um. What do you think? Should people watch the movie or not? Uh, I think. Pe well, first, I'm actually surprised that I haven't. Well, has there been any news of it being banned by the church? <laughs> I'm surprised. What was that other movie that was banned by the church? What There's been it? a lot. Passion of the Christ, I think. Passion of the Christ? I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't even seen that one. Um, but to me, I think, I would imagine they would say something about this. Well, I guess because it's not like a complete um, giveaway. Like the title, yeah, it says Mother, but it's not and like Passion posters. of the Christ. And then the yeah. posters really are very religious, and it's about Jesus Christ. This one is a more of a an artistic... Um, look into using metaphors for what it really is, right? Yeah, it's it's really just stretching the word giving. Yeah. Selflessness. What is selflessness? What is giving? Right? It just and so who, happens to have a lot of um, connection um, with a religion in particular. Yeah. Um, who, who... To me, it's interesting... So, so let's cut giving. it short. So wait, basically... Wait, wait, one last thing. Okay. It's interesting to me to how they portray who is actually giving what. Because both of them were giving. Right. It's just the poet was just giving in a different way. Everyone else, though, was taking. 
everyone else was taking, but both of them were giving. Right. But they were both treated differently. One who was giving externally, uh-huh. and another one was giving... Emotionally, spiritually. Internally, and just there wants is, to be... There is words, by, right? To be within the house. But someone opened up the house, and that's why he was being... Um, rewarded for him externally showing his philanthropy. Yeah. While the other one is quietly doing it, but she's the one getting stoned. Right. So basically, um, Jennifer Lawrence is like Mother Mary, and the guy, I forget his name, Javier something, Yeah. is, uh, he was in Watchmen, right? Javier Bordello? Bord- uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, he is playing God in the movie. In- in a sense, basically. In a sense. That's why he doesn't die, and it just keeps repeating because that's the never-ending cycle of life, and that's why in the, in the end, um, it kind of starts all over again. Mm-hmm. And that's why he said, I'm taking you back from where it started. Yeah. So you can look at it in two different things, either in a religious aspect and see what the parallels are, mm-hmm. or in a secular manner, with, with it, which is basically what is giving. All right. Well, um, we hope you like this uh, review. And um, if you have not watched the movie yet, you watched this video knowing that it had spoilers and it made you want to watch the movie, well, go on ahead, check it out, and then let us know what you thought of it. Simply um, visit this video again and comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.